Hello everyone and welcome to Test Lab and today we have a whole bunch of cool stuff in front of us from Cold Steel. They sent us a whole box of knives and I took about 10 of them out here, kind of detail each one and you know they got all these different knives and swords and blow guns and spears and you know anything that uh, is fun they have in their, on their website coldsteel.com but anyway you got some cool hats here but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cut up some tomatoes and some wood and some paper and show you how sharp these things are uh, six of these are out, six of these are out of the box three of them I've used and I'll show you the differences between that but the first one we'll start with is the roach belly so the roach belly here we go Let's cut some wood first. Let's kind of see if we can dull this thing up before we cut the things like paper and tomatoes. Because that's how you really tell if a knife's sharp. So, that's a nice cut. Let's kind of try to dull a little bit. Let's get a cardboard cut in here. Oh, that's a nice cardboard cut. Now, let's go to the paper. I watched some videos on how to tell if a knife was sharp on paper, so let's give it a shot. Just, oh, just, you just want, to, just want a little, just the weight of the knife. Oh, yeah. I'll make the sound effects too, just so you know it's good. It's a little thicker paper, but I'd say that's sharp. Let's give it a, let's give a tomato a shot. Oh yeah, just the weight of the knife. That's how you tell it's sharp. Nice little piece off there. The roach belly. Now this is one of the coolest ones they sent, the OSS. And a nice little finger guard there. Really cool looking. Um, Let's give this, let's, let's, let's cut some wood with this one. Oh, yep, powerful. I just know it's nice steel. Okay, let's cut some wood. Now let's take a, take a slice on the old tomato. Oh, there we go. Just the weight of the knife. Nice little cut. You want a tomato? Okay. The OSS. Really nice looking knife. It's called the Outdoorsman Light. Let's cut some wood. Oh, nice. Do we have vacuum down here? That's nice. Let's do a little paper. Do the heavier paper. That's a nice one. Cardboard, maybe? The cardboard. I haven't tried to stab myself with this. And then a little, little uh, tomato cut. See? Look at that. Nice and thin. Perfect. The Outdoorsman Light. Next, the Commercial Series. This knife is absolutely razor sharp. Just cut a big chunk out of that wood. And the real test, let's see how it does on paper. See how thin we can get this. See, that's how you tell a sharp knife right there. Just the weight of the knife, give a little, just catch on the side. I, I recommend the commercial series. This knife here was one of the ones we were really excited to get, the Drop Forge Hunter. I mean, this is all metal, completely, you know, fits your hand. But look at the blade on this thing. Gorgeous. This is just a beast. I can't ever see that breaking. Let's see how sharp it is on the old paper. There's a lot of user error here. That is just a big, nice knife. Let's see what it does on the tomato slice. Just the weight. Just the weight. There, look. Making a salad. The Drop Forge Hunter. Great knife. Now, for your fishermen, and I'm not going to play around with paper. Well, maybe we'll play with paper a little bit. I'm not going to cut wood with the fillet knife. But I've been using these fillet knives for a couple years on my, all my pike. And everybody knows, has ever cleaned a pike, how hard it is. But these fillet knives are amazing. <laughs> Obviously, tomato is going to be no. See, look at how sharp that is. I'm just pressing down. I'm just going to press down a little bit. See how thin we can get it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Perfect 
for your fish. Let's say the name is. This is another commercial series fillet knife. Now another cool knife they sent us was the bird and game knife. Little knife to obviously maybe cut up your squirrel, cut up your little uh, pheasant, whatever you gotta do here. It's got a nice ring, put your finger in. Let's see how sharp this thing is. One on our sides here. Very sharp. How we do on a tomato? Let's pretend this is a little squirrel. Oh, that's so nice. Sound like Bob Ross right now, right? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Very nice little knife. Bird and game knife. Don't stab yourself on camera, no boom. Okay, now here's the two knives. One always in my pocket. And this one here, we'll start with this. The Finn Hawk, you can see. Still covered in fat and guts. I think we, I think we gutted three deer with this this year, and I never sharpened it. Um, I did all three like it was butter, right through the breastbone, right through everything. So this is kind of the knife I kind of want to showcase here. This is used. I've used it a ton, you know. And we're just chopping through wood. You know, it's still got an edge. How are we doing on the paper still? Very good on the paper. A little cardboard. Yep. Good. Now, true test. Tomato. Is it still sharp enough to cut a tomato without making a big hot mess? Let's get a little thin piece in here. See how thin we can get with this big blade. Not too shabby. The fin hawk. And, you know, this is no bull crap. We use this all the time, nonstop. Three deer without sharpening it, and it's still razor sharp. And this knife, this is the, probably the, the best knife that, I, in my opinion, that we got. Because everybody loves a nice pocket knife. And everybody loves Stone Cold Steve Austin. Broken Skull Steve Austin. Still razor sharp. A little tomato action. Let's save that tomato. Maybe Dave will want to eat it later. Nice thin slices. I like it. Look at that. Great knife, broken skull knife by Cold Steel. Hey guys, Dave with Boner Planet. Uh, although Jamie didn't talk about this knife specifically, this is the one I carry every day. I love this knife, it's super light. It's called the Fin Wolf. Uh, and as you can see, it's super sharp, super light. It has a lot of adjustability, whereas if you want the clip on the other side, you can simply move it over. It's got the spots to put it. But uh, this is my everyday carry knife. I really like it a lot. It's super light. I could gut a deer with this if I needed to, but I use this one mainly for any sort of little stuff like rope or anything that comes around if I'm fishing or something like that. The other knife we used a lot this year that I enjoyed was the Fin Hawk that you did show uh, earlier in the video. And that, that knife was great at gutting deer and uh, getting it done in the field. But this one is just as nice. Again, super light, easy to carry in your pocket, and efficient. So there you have it. There's part of the lineup for this year. I think we're gonna do more and more videos as more knives come in. Hopefully we get, you know, blades. We can show you what a katana can do. You know, if anybody hasn't seen, go on YouTube and watch Cold Steel's videos when they're slicing all this stuff up with swords. Uh, that's kind of how they caught my eye, and that's, you know, that's, as somebody who's into knives like this, you can't really go wrong. The prices are great. They're not ridiculous. Um, I can't remember some of them, but you know, they're really, really reasonable for what you get in the, in the quality of steel and blades that you do get. So uh, check them out at coldsteel.com and uh, have a good one.